Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Rob from Gay Guy Please, and today on Dress to Kill, we light it up when we take a look at how I like to use neons. Okay, so that whole intro is a lie because, to be frank, I don't really like using neons. As you probably know by now, I like my frames to look like they fit in the world, and neons tend to be a bit of a stark contrast against the Warframe universe. However, that's not going to stop some people from wanting to look like the 80s threw up on them, so I figured if you're going to do it, you might as well do it right. So my first tip is to combine neons with desaturated colors, as they are by nature quite intense and pairing them with other color rich shades can be a bit of a strain on the eyes. I suggest pairing them with grayes and off whites. Note that if you intend on pairing them with black, find a more muted version of it rather than a pure black as those can be just as saturated and intense. My next tip is to limit the use of neons to accent tones, as they can be pretty overwhelming when used as a primary. In addition, this selective use allows them to pop against their more subtle surroundings, causing them to look brighter and cleaner as opposed to putting them front and center which tends to drown the rest of the color selections out. Moving on, I highly suggest never using more than two neons in a single color scheme. As I stated before, I prefer placing them in accent areas, however, depending on the frame, tossing it in the energy color can provide very eye-catching combinations and give a bit of an additional pop without completely taking over the rest of the color scheme. My last tip is that if you plan on using more than one neon, select your tones wisely. It's already a lot of look for one frame to carry, so take the time out to make sure that your shades work well with each other. Now with that said, let's get dressed. <laughs> So all in all, while neons may not be my personal cup of tea, there are definitely ways to wear them well. Combining them with less obtrusive colors allows them to be even more brilliant, and placing them on accent parts of the frame ensure that they don't drown out the rest of the color scheme. With a little bit of restraint, neons can prove to be quite wearable. Just remember that unlike penises, too much isn't necessarily a good thing. So thank you all for watching another episode of Dress to Kill. Be sure to check out my previous episodes on customizing Necros and Equinox. And if there's a certain trend that you think that I should cover, be sure to leave those in the comments below. Now, don't forget to do all the things that I ask you to do at the end of every one of these. And as always, stay drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> Bulbon, I think there might be something wrong with your balls.